The ocean floor is a dream world, silent, vast, mystic, unreal, lonely beyond words, beauty that haunts one, majesty all its own, inhabited by strange, weird creatures like this great sea anemone, so named because it looks like the windflower. You've seen little ones on the rocks at low tide, long tentacles like the petals of a lovely flower, but when touched, they close up into a compact ball. Like the giant ray, it lives by scooping in its prey and sucking it to pieces. Now watch how quickly the fish that our boys throw down is enclosed in that living sepulcher. Okay. This is Andy Finkel Draws Monsters or Something. I'm Andy Finkel. I'm going to draw a monster or something. And this is episode four, I think. Here we go. Andy Finkel Draws Monsters or Something. All right, let's see. I'm going to draw, start out with pencil. I'm doing a Bristol board, like I usually do, uh, but I've cut it to four by six inches, so when I'm done with this, I can uh, mail it with just a postcard stamp. Okay. So it's going to have three eyes, because why not? Yeah, it would have had three eyes, but I'm giving it two eyes and an eye patch. It's more fun. Debatably. Got a Micron 03. I like drawing these double noses sometimes. Give it a mustache. Gonna give it some wild hair. I'm thinking like like it's some sort of a gorgon or some underwater creature. I know gorgons were not underwater creatures, but something about this kind of reminds me of underwater with the. Uh, was it sea, sea anemone? I don't know. Sea anemone. I'm, I'm just going full freaky on this one and uh, giving it like a kind of a fish body or something. Because why not? This, this is going to be a weird one. Some sort of three-eyed 
Gorgon merman thing. Give it a nice uh, anchor necklace. Do the signature while I'm doing the pen part. All right. What it is, I'm not sure, but. It's a monster, and I drew it. Now I need to give it some time to dry before I erase it. I don't want to smear the lines all up. And while I'm giving it time to dry, let's go to the mailbag. Okay, really excited by this drawing that, that I had sent in. It was emailed to me at monsters or something at gmail.com. If you want to send me uh, a picture of a drawing. I absolutely love to see them. This was a monster drawn by Henry and it's I think it was after episode one where I did the monster with the googly eyes. He drew this one and it's fantastic. I like the the, the wavy eye stalks and the kind of kind of cross-eyed look. It's got three legs which is just funny. Um, good drawing. Really good drawing. And the thing about this is Though he watched, he drew it after watching some of my shows. I realize after I drew the Jack Eichel as a freaky monster that episode. Jack Eichel, you are a freaky monster. That was kind of loosely inspired by Henry's drawings because he does monsters with these three legs. Sometimes I saw one before. Uh, his father shared it online, and uh, it took a while. It wasn't until his father sent in this this drawing of Henry's that it clicked. That subconsciously it was rattling around back there, and the the three legs on Jack Eichel is a freaky monster. I think that's partially inspired by Henry, and partially just because I couldn't fit a fourth leg in there. Um, but anyway, it's inspiration comes from everywhere. Uh, and uh, I, I very much appreciate this this drawing sent in and thank you Henry and I hope you uh, keep drawing and please uh, if, you're, if your old man wants to keep sending me pictures I'm always glad to look at them alright and uh, when I'm done with this picture if anybody wants this one just uh, shoot me your mailing address uh, again you can reach me at monsters or something at gmail.com uh, since this is just going to be postcard size I'll just slap a postcard on it stamp on it send it out so if you want it let me know all right let's see is it ready to dry or is it ready to erase is it dry enough to erase here's hoping Let's do some colors, the fun part. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, on another drawing I did a while back, I used this sprout green from Artist Loft. 
and then I put a uh, yellow on top of it from Copic and I like the way it turned out so I'm going to see if that can't be recreated somewhat. I often do the gray, the shading first and then do the color over it, but I'm switching it up. Yeah, it just went over the line there, but not a big deal. I'd like to remind anyone watching that me doing this show is not me saying I'm an expert. Uh, I know many, many people who are better with with these markers than I am, and uh, a lot of a lot of good artists out there. And I'm having fun, and I I like doing it, and I'm getting pretty good, but I'm not the best. Not pretending I am, but I do like drawing and sharing my drawings. And uh, I've always had a fascination with public access TV. So when I moved to Ithaca and they had a station. I knew I, I should try to try to do something. And it was thanks to equipment and training from Pegasus Channel 13 that I'm able to make this show. You can thank them or blame them, whatever you want to do. In the show is made from my van. It's just a little place I can get to myself usually and uh, draw some pictures. Okay, let's do, I don't know what to do for the mustache, I'm not sure what color, um, but I'm going to do a little bit of shading first.
pretty good. Uh, missing a cap here. Oh, there we go. This is a 50, so a little bit darker. I want to go a little bit darker around the eyes. Sunken eyes. Go red for the eyes. Make them really stand out. Okay, I'm gonna try this Zalia for the mustache. Kind of, kind of a weird choice, but the whole thing's weird, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to do some of the yellow that I did on the body, overlapping on the mustache. Cap came off of this one. Don't know where it is. That's unfortunate. I'm tempted to add some more color here. Could definitely go wrong. I don't know. So I'm gonna test some overlapping colors here. So that's the sprout with the yellow like I did. Then I kinda wanna see what would look some purple on that would look like. That's not what I'm wanting. You know those those uh, weird I don't know they look like a cross between a plant and an animal, but there's those things underwater that uh, jiggle around. Sea anemone. Seems like they have uh, variations of color on them. Kind of thinking about that. Thank you. 
Got one of those colorless blenders from Prismacolor. I say I got one from it. I bought it. They're not giving me anything. Um, they can though if they want to. Still not sure about that mustache. I'm just, I don't know. It's not like it has to make sense, but the orangish looking mustache with the green skin, I don't know. Ay, 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 ay. What happens if we do that over here? Uh, oh, here's something. I think that's about as good as the mustache is going to get. Um, do I need anything else on this? I think it's good. By good I mean freaky. Zoom out a little bit so you can see my work area. All right, so here is my monster, and this has been Andy Finkel draws monsters or something. And I will see you next time. Uh, new episode, first Saturday of the month, Pegasus Channel 13, 10:30 uh, a.m. And uh, I'll see you when I see you. All right, bye.
Thank you.